Wow. It looks like the last Synchrodyne Thursday I recorded was in July of 2018. That's a really long time ago. Uh, I don't know about you, but I was starting to get the sweats without talking about um, ICs and uh, circuit layouts and switch capacitor filters, but uh, but it's okay. We're, we're, we're back on it now. Um, coincidentally enough, uh, I'm recording this on January 2nd, 2019. Uh, I made my little diagrams yesterday on the 1st. Um, WMD today just put out their own video on the Synchrodyne. Uh, it's a half, about a half hour, um, and it's a, a general overview of the module, and it's really cool, and I think everybody should go watch it. So I'm going to put a link to that right below. It's, uh, it's a great demonstration of some of the, um, the really crazy tones and the behavior of the filter uh, that you get out of the Synchrodyne. So it's probably a really good starting point for anybody, uh, and I would recommend that you check that out. I like their example because they jumped into an example right away that was musically rewarding and you could just hear the character of the, the uh, module. Um, it's probably a more compelling video uh, than just listening to some Yahoo drone on and on about technical examples. <clears throat> so anyway, the phase locked loop is a pretty common circuit in electronics. Um, it has three main parts. It has this comparator, a filter, and an oscillator. And the job the main point of this circuit is to make this oscillator uh, oscillate at the same frequency as the input oscillator. So it takes one signal and outputs another signal at the same frequency or possibly a different one. The input oscillator we're going to say comes from uh, any one of our oscillators, whatever you have in your rack, and that goes into the phase comparator. The phase comparator's job is to look at two input waves and compare their phase so it knows whether it needs to speed up or slow down the oscillator. Um, I took this diagram straight from the web because it did a really good job of what I was trying to draw at the time. Um, you can read it or view it down here. This is a good article to read as a follow-up, by the way. I'll put in a link to that. Um, but basically, you've got two waves in, and you can see there's an exclusive OR output. And what that means is when one or the other is high, and exclusively one of them is high, but not both. So exclusively or one is exclusively up or the other is exclusively up so you can see here where this is high input 2 is high while input 1 is low what's important is you get another output wave that you then put into this filter um, in the case of the synchrodyne it's a simple RC low pass filter so that's a, a resistor and a capacitor and what that does is it lops off everything down to almost DC because what we want is a DC voltage that goes into our oscillator. And that's just like in our rack, right? We've got one volt per octave input, a DC input that tells the oscillator what frequency to operate at. So that oscillator is then controlled by the DC voltage and it's fed back into the comparator. So it's constantly updating, it's constantly asking itself, am I going at the same frequency as the oscillator that's coming in? And then in a future video, we'll talk about the multiplication and division that can happen here. Um, but this is the basic gist of it, right? You've got the comparator, which compares two signals coming in. The output is converted to a DC voltage, which controls the oscillator. So with these components, you have a phase-locked loop. And on my extremely high-tech demo, I'm going to switch over to a different program here. But this was pulled directly from the spec sheet uh, for the chip that is the PLL on the Synchrodyne. So real quick, just for fun, we're going to follow the circuit through the steps. So you've got a signal in. And it's going to go through our phase comparator. Now, there are actually two on this chip, but I'm going to assume it's this exclusive OR one up here. I could be wrong, but it doesn't really matter because they go to the same spot. So we've got the phase comparator out. That goes down to the low-pass filter. Like I mentioned, it's just a simple RC filter. You've got a resistor, you've got a capacitor, you've got a filter. So the DC voltage that comes out of that filter goes into the VCO. And the VCO out is what we can hear in other places. But the VCO out is also, and very importantly, going back into the comparator. So this is our loop. This is this is the L, well, one of them, in phase locked loop. And you can also see there's a section here called divide by N. Um, this is the potential for a clock divider, a multiplier, which we'll talk about in a future video. But this is the actual phase locked loop uh, in the PLL that controls the synchrodyne. So in the next video, we're actually gonna do a demonstration of how the PLL works on the module itself.